Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocket Erase with the second video in the series on uh, Rethink DB. So well, let's continue. In the last video, I've shown how to set up Rethink database uh, directly by uh, you know downloading the exe file. In this video, we'll be talking about the JavaScript, uh, how we can get started with Node.js. And so, as you can see, already I have a connection established over here, and that is because I've uh, run the uh, exe file. So you can see that over here. It says server is ready, so that is what is happening over here. Uh, one second. Alright, so this is the uh, other server in a different folder. I'll just uh, convert it to the uh, actual folder that I'll be working on. So, so as you can see, we have a uh, uh, rethink db.exe. So I just uh, opened up by just saying rethink db. Alright, so as you can see over here, we have uh, the server and uh, the server has been connected and the refreshing has uh, taken place automatically. So the next thing we need to do is that we need to install a client driver and because the series uh, focuses on JavaScript, so I'll be doing the JavaScript uh, part only. So uh, for other languages, you can refer to the documentation or you can wait for a while until I, I make the other videos. So nonetheless, uh, let's get uh, going forward. What you need to do after this is that you need to open up another uh, command prompt oh, and over here uh, and also make sure that you have node.js installed. So let us say uh, I click on node dash dash version, it will show me the version and if that is showing that means that you're good to go. So after Node.js is installed, you can uh, directly install the three thing DB over here. So let's see what it says. All right, so as you can see, we have uh, installed successfully Rethink DB uh, via Node.js. And it gives us a warning saying that package or JSON does not exist. So for that, you can quickly what you can do is that you can say npm init, and it will successfully create a package dot JSON for us. So let's get to the folder and let's see. Okay, before that, you need to give a name to this. So I'll just give it as a rethink tutorial zero one, and then the version description you can give. Uh, this is a sample. Entry point sample.js, or you can call it anything that you want. Uh, Git repository, you can skip all these things, and I'll just uh, give the author over here. <clears throat> all right, it asks me if this is okay. I'll say it's okay, and then now if I check it, we have node modules and we have backs.json, we have rethink db.exe, which was installed in the first uh, uh, video itself, and we also have sample.js, uh, which was written by me. So I'll show what it is right now. So let me traverse to the uh, folder. All right, so as you can see over here, we have rethinkdb underscore data, which is uh, the data pertaining to the uh, initial install, after which package.json has been installed, uh, created just now. And we can see that in the dependencies, we have rethinkdb. So we have also the uh, main, which is sample.js, which is the entry point. Anyways, uh, so sample.js is something like this, so I would want you guys to start it off so that you can do it with me. So what do you need to type? Uh, the first uh, uh, first of all is, you know, just uh, type r is equal to require reading db with reading db in quotes. After that, the next one will be r.connect and then in this, you will specify what is your host and what is the port. By the way, 28015 is the basic, uh, is the default uh, port connection uh, available for our uh, client drivers. So there are two things, there's, there's a server, server will uh, in general uh, connect to 8080 port, while the client drivers will uh, connect to the 28015. So this is uh, given in an object format, as you can see over here, we have the host as localhost and port as 28015. So these can change once you shift your uh, uh, your server to another location, uh, let us say another engine server or somewhere else. After that uh, function, you have a function, you give a function of an error and a connection. C-O-N-N, con means a connection. 
so for now i have commented out uh, the re remaining parts over here because i'll be i'll be talking about that in the in, uh, in the next video but for now you will just uh, work with these two lines which is if error is given so then throw an error and then also i'm giving console.log a connection so that uh, by the way this connection is very important uh, this connection is created automatically with this function and as you can see in the uh, in the commented out lines we can see that we are using the connection in the run method so anyways let's get uh, started so let's get get uh, going ahead uh, by running this uh, program so what you need to do is uh, go back to your uh, command prompt and just type node sample.js right so as you can see over here we have a tcp connection it says local host port db undefined and all these things so as you can see over here this means that <coughs> uh, we have uh, had a successful connection over here so it is consoling out uh, all the uh, things so you can also so this is a simple way how you can connect to the uh, server to the database and uh, you can work ahead uh, with that and by default uh, our uh, the program initially creates a database called test which you can view over here as well via the server uh, so when you go over here uh, uh, you can see that in the tables uh, you have a database called test and this has been created by default you can also add another database you can add a table over here directly or else you can do it even via coding but uh, the con though the console is useful for a lot of purposes uh, to maintain it back end uh, easily via this interface you will see that this coding is also this code is also very much important for you to connect to it so the scripting is very important is what i am uh, trying to say so after this uh, video i'll be talking about the uh, next things which will cover all these uh, things uh, all these uh, connection and how you can create a table directly via scripting so you can go ahead uh, and uh, watch that so that's it for this video guys i'll see you in the next video where i'll be talking about how to connect to the da uh, database called test and how to create a table and get started with uh, inserting some fields into the table all right uh, thanks a lot for watching bye bye